piece itself. Now, I have my own opinion on this, what grade it is, but my opinion doesn't actually matter, simply because this is what AQA said was an A star. Um, I will show you something that I graded as an A star afterwards, just so you can see the difference in complexity of language, but when we look at it, maybe perhaps this is, uh, oh sorry, when we look at it, this is what all you need to know for getting an A star. So we'll look through it, read it together, um, or I'll read it to you, should I say, and we'll pick out why this is actually good along the way. So the question, um, basically I can see from the plan, was something to do with encourage a school to recycle or something like that it might be in um, write a speech where you encourage a headmaster to recycle or something along those lines but basically it looked like we were arguing and it looks like it's definitely on recycling so here goes how can you help the world question mark we'll talk question straight away that is a question which a lot of people would say the answer is you can't not on your own so this is quite good actually because he's included um, a quote from someone imaginary or from a general public uh, an audience just uh, it kind of gives it a bit of character a bit of life straight away perhaps that is true so here he's actually given himself an opposing argument he said perhaps um, he's not said this is rubbish etc he's breaking it down cleverly maybe surely maybe um, purely on your own not much can be done to help the world which is a huge thing after all but in a community of people where we all work together a lot of can be done to change things globally so here we've started from something very broadly about helping the world and now we're slowly coming in together um, to a smaller space we know it's going to come down to a smaller space he's actually bring us into that and he does punctuate this by bringing it straight into the rest of his speech a perfect example of such a community would be a school so there's a nice actually appropriate tone a perfect example so he's actually saying that this is uh, uh, somewhere where we can easily improve this a perfect example would be a community such as a school there is so much a school can do to help and so he's punctuated his own um, op opening there leading in nicely in a school there is understandably a lot of waste so it's nice there he understands that there is actually waste because uh, obviously a school has a lot of paperwork that has to be done and obviously there's a, a lot of people working there but if some of the bottles and plastic cartons okay so that's specific specific bottles, plastic cartons, are reused and recycled, R&R, &R, alliteration, you could really make a difference. You could really make a difference. So it's actually referring specifically to whoever's reading this uh, or whoever's being spoken to. Your school alone could make a big difference to the planet. Now here's one of the things that I have a slight issue with here, difference and difference repeated. Um, we look at a slightly more varied vocabulary, but obviously that's just a minor thing. The rest of it is very good um, to the planet. But imagine if all the schools in planet reduce their waste. How about all the schools in the world? So again, offering this um, rhetorical question just to get us thinking. If each school could throw away only a few grams less, we're quite specific here, that would add up to several kilograms over the year. So it gives us an idea that this is building. And obviously here we've got some uh, statistics even if it's just a few grams we've got the statistic of the um, certain reference showing it builds from grams to kilograms if this happened in every school in the world that would mean thousands of tons less in every waste year so we've gone from grams kilograms to tons so it's actually nicely built there it's quite clever and it waste every year exclamation mark what a difference that would make to increasingly full landfill sites so that's actually a good a good point he's actually made his point across here and actually explained it and developed it and then he's stressed it which i mentioned earlier what a difference that would make to increasingly full landfill sites but he's actually kind of looked slightly outside the box so he's not just looking at how to improve the school but now we're looking at the wider context as well so that's very good not only this so it's an excellent um, connecting paragraph he's adding here but what about electricity and heating so moving on to a different area so this actually shows he really has that complete range where does that come from electricity is made mostly mostly using oil an increasingly scarce natural resource why not turn the lights off in unused rooms doing this would greatly benefit the world and in a school this is a very prominent waste of energy so again we're specific not only so again he's used not only again uh, it's not my personal preference but uh, obviously easy come or go and actually I should be saying he or she because I don't know what gender this student was not only would switching off unused lights save energy and lower waste it would also actually save the school money so another benefit has actually been extended on the school would have to pay less for the energy and using less would reduce costs the oil that is used produced electricity and also used to make plastic bottles and when you finish using the plastic bottles you throw them away and they go to one of two places okay so he's offering us um, insight here some of them are buried in landfill sites and others are burnt and when these plastics are burnt they can release poisonous gases which contribute to global warming so using less of these bottles and by reusing them they will again save the world so this is actually good because he's being very specific and actually mentioning the danger etc exactly so obviously telling us uh, he, this person looks informed they know what they're talking about they've come from a, a kind of more passionate point of view now they're looking from a more um, 
environmental point of view they've come from a cost point of view so it's so, so far so good and again the exclamation mark it will make the air that all you breathe uh, it make you breathe again it's personal clearer and it will blow a sea level which is also very important to prevent global warming the accuracy of that sentence i'm not sure about but uh, obviously we can see where they're going so this is very good here very short sentence brilliant okay so it's as if he's got the confidence to say i know i've convinced you brilliant exclamation mark very short sentence so now by introducing so now so he's taken all that he's actually the confidence again saying okay all this has been taken in so now after you do all that by introducing these slight changes throughout the school waste can be dramatically reduced dramatically well chosen words is showing that it could be a great 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 change um, if you are careful to recycle glass and plastics and only use electricity when it's needed you are being a great help to the work you are doing your bit to make the world a greener and um, this actually sounds like it could come straight from the pages of 1984 but it's it's very personal and very persuasive you are doing your bit to help make the world a greener and healthier place to live now you must hope that others follow your example and that's a great way to actually end so you could imagine actually someone finishing a proper speech with that it's a very strong ending so all the way through if you actually look at it it's actually been well shaped and uh, we'll scroll back up in the mark scheme so yeah it definitely full range of sentences high level of spelling high level technical he'd definitely get eight or nine for that and this did get 27 out of 27 um scrolling back up here form content definitely assured uh, very confident um definitely straight to the audience it sounded quite formal controlled and sustained so basically there was no parts where it actually really became too weak there was only two repetitions that were, were less than perfect um but uh, obviously you're not gonna hanker or um, hold someone back for that um used didn't really use the irony but it was, had some intellectual rigor actually explaining what it was use rhetorical device as well and had some inventive uh, structural and linguistic devices perhaps you could say in just that use of the word brilliant and how that was actually shaped so that was quite good we'll look at another example now so of, uh, another a star piece um, basically looking at that is only going just to re-emphasize further I personally think this is something that a student wrote I personally think this one is better than the one we've actually got here um, but uh, obviously they, they, you know they both get full marks so it's it's really a case of splitting hairs um, I'm just gonna bring that up now what you should notice as well through all of the pieces that were actually done is you've got the chance to ensure that you can actually just read good example essays and you'll be able to do exactly the same thing um, that might sound like it's a bit much but that's not the case at all all you really need to do is practice it and you will first of all if you practice reading it and reading broadsheets then you're actually going to be in a good position to actually be able to write in that style apologies for the length of this video it is actually getting on a little bit but I do hope that this is proving useful okay now obviously you can pause at any point if you want to increase um it or like read over something again and again and again so we're looking at this essay abortion again available on our website fronter.com forward slash westminster and the password so the username is study and the password is english all lowercase and there is another video that actually goes through that so this is an essay on abortion writing to argue for abortion abortion is a very sensitive issue that makes many people feel uncomfortable and rightly so understanding the situation straight away there have been many debates and arguments over the issue with people passionately and carefully stating their case um, good words being used here passionately etc debates and arguments uh, the issue is very divisive good word again but I think overall the case must be made to ban abortion in all but the most extreme of cases which should be presided over high level vocabulary by relevant hi high level again experts the idea of abortion being a choice is almost a contradiction itself okay so this is clever wordplay a person has the option of terminating a life and this seems a strange choice indeed the one that people would have to train in the army for years for but without any of the responsibilities of being bound by the rules and laws of the battlefield so that's a very um, stretch metaphor there or a very stretched comparison it's good it's quite interesting yes the circumstances are different so he's again looking at the other side the counter arguments offered yes the circumstances are different but in the end taking a life should be avoided at all costs and use of the dash here is quite good um, and obviously the use of the um uh, quotation marks here just to actually uh, make it stand out uh, in other situations such as the death penalty or indeed in war the person whose life is at stake knows the reason they're in that situation choosing to fight or having been convicted of a crime but what choice has the unborn had uh, a good end there for the rhetorical question in this way I feel that abortion is offered in most cases as an easy option a way out of responsibility it's nicely built the sentence structuring in most cases as an easy option again checking himself so it doesn't sound too impassioned it still sounds sensible and um, controlled many people want the pleasures of sexual relations without thinking about the consequences of their actions indeed there are occasions when a condom can split or a woman was taken advantage of resulting in pregnancy but the vast majority of people who for one, the vast majority are from people who for one reason or another become careless 
whether it's couples in long-term relationships, curious teenagers, or any other reason, four out of five, good statistic made up here, would be mothers, well used dash again, say that they could have avoided the situation with a little care. With so many ways of protection, uh, colon again, uh, sorry, semicolon, uh, sorry, colon again, the morning after pill, comedoms, femidoms, the pill, again, a good background knowledge of how to actually cover the situation. It is a wonder that they weren't responsible enough at any point to avoid the situation. Abortion in some cases is the last line, alliteration, of responsibility shirking. People who engage in sexual liaisons know the risk and they should be ready for the possible responsibilities that follow. Another reason, a good connective, why abortion should be banned is because many abortion havers, I uh, wasn't very keen on the term but uh, it was getting the point across, abortion havers become heavily depressed, turning into living zombies, that's a lovely metaphor, regret, so that's actually I suppose what we were talking about early, delightful, turning into living zombies, it's a delightful turn, it's just the right thing at just the right time, regretting the decision they made. Pete Gumson, made up person, of the psychiatric care unit at London Waterloo Hospital was quoted saying it has very long lasting side effect it has very long lasting side effects both physical and mental so here we're again like similar to the other example we're given lots and lots of ideas he mentions that the depression rate increases and that patients have a deep gnawing nice metaphorical use as well sense of guilt especially when others around them begin to have children Furthering this point, again well connected, those who have abortions also have a high rate of complications when they next try to become pregnant. Issues such as damage to the womb can affect the delivery and formation of future fetuses, that's very long alliteration there, that the mother may wish to have. On the other hand, raising the baby, even if it's not originally planned, could lead to a blossoming, loving relationship full of hope and joy. So again, other avenues are being explored here. This is very complete, rather than the constant double guessing of what might have been. At the end of the day, every band activity will take place in some shape or form. This is unavoidable as people will either have too strong a will or too much money for someone else to say no to. But placing a blanket ban, again that alliteration, on abortion would make people consider the consequences in even more detail. It has always been taught that great power comes with great responsibility. So using a cliche there, cliche there but using it very aptly. With great power comes great responsibility and the power to make life is the greatest power of all. Therefore, it should carry the greatest weight of responsibility. The sooner the laws of the country reflect this, the better. And again, that's an excellent ending. So this 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 student's um, started with a really strong start, a really good ending. Now, I think this one is far better than the other one. But again, there's only been marked out of 27 and they probably both get uh, uh, full full marks for it. Um, but one of the things you can actually say about getting higher marks as well is that if you if your writing is good the whole way through, then it kind of sits you uh, in a, a certain grade in the examiner's head. So right from the off, you should be trying to write your best. Don't like kind of poke trying to make something up with later questions because if your responses are very very good early on then the examiner is going to just have high expectations of you throughout um, i hope that was useful if there are any references that you want to make there is the other argue persuade advice uh, question uh, argue persuade advice tutorial that's up there that goes into more detail this one was specifically at a star um, and uh, on the website there are a star b grade and c grade etc etc versions for you to look at